Hello everybody, it's we Paddy from Across the Shock and I have a, a really lovely video. I hope you'll enjoy it this morning. I'm actually looking forward to doing this. I'm looking forward to the re reaction of people because I know when I first came around and I used to see some knives coming on channels and I think, <clears throat> you must be mad. You spent how much on what? And I think when a lot of people come around and, and you're used to what you normally spent on a pen knife and you see these vast sums of monies or what you perceive to be vast amount of monies. I suppose they are really, but anyway. And, and you see knives, I mean, and it used to just shock me. But I mean, as you grow into the hobby and you spend an awful lot more money than you ever thought you would possibly do, and you see knives and the edge goes off and you think, well, you know, maybe I could go this much and then it goes up another wee bit. But you end up where you end up at what you end up buying and it doesn't matter and it but I've, I've always said the joy in seeing somebody else having something that they enjoy is the whole point of this youtube channel thing for me so with with that now this is a knife that was sent to me from jason if you if you don't know jason uh Gulfoyle, go back in my uh videos there only a few videos back and you'll see that the the care package or the shop that he sent me um i am so grateful for i have had the chance to see knives that i wouldn't have bought myself but i'm so pleased i have them and they are gorgeous knives and i can understand why he would have bought them and i mean that's the difference in three years in a knife community <clears throat> so this one it's a tiny knife, and if anybody knows it, I love tiny knives as secondary knives, or as just a wee knife to throw in your pocket. I don't do very much cutting, so a wee small knife is really handy. So, without further ado, the knife is in this little pouch, which Jason also sent, and I put this knife in it, along with a little pen. This is just a little zebra pen that I put in it, a little black and silver zebra pen. You can put whatever you like in there, but this is the knife. Are you ready? This is a big knife now. <laughs> I just love opening that up. It is the ZT0022. Now, it just stretches across my four fingers. This is a small knife. This is not a small knife without any substance. This is some of the best materials you can have on a knife. This is carbon fibre. This is titanium. This is um, oh, God, 20 CV. CPM 20 CV. It's blade steel. It is just finished to zero tolerance perfection. They genuinely have done an amazing job on such a tiny knife. Look at that. That is nearly instantaneous. That's as fast as any. I'm just going to try and get you to see. This is as fast as any flick knife. Watch. It's just, I didn't even hit that hard. This is so fast, so perfect. Listen to that. That is just, look at the little rhino horn blade. Now, I'm going to do measurements. I'm going to do weights in a minute and let you see it. But this knife is two fingers and a bit you get your third there and it is so comfortable in hand you don't miss the last finger oh sorry it came from jason oh absolutely razor sharp beautiful beautiful grinds on the knife and I've only ever had one zero tolerance before and it is perfect and it's the 0450. I'll show you that in a minute. I'll bring it out as a size comparison. It's a small knife which you like. But this is the wee micro knives that I really, really love. Now, the price for this is astronomical if you haven't got the money. If you've got the money, it's just a knife. Do you know what I mean? So that's that's where I am with the price of knives. If you've got it, you want it, buy it. If it's not taking bread away from your kids, that just go ahead and get it. This is a stunning piece of engineering. And it wouldn't matter whether the knife was, you know, seven inches long, eight inches long. You still have to engineer it, make it, and get it working perfectly. 
Look at that lock up. It is absolutely... There's everything in this knife that there is in an 8-inch or 9-inch knife. It's not assisted. It just flies out on KVT bearings. Listen to that. How positive. You can't even pull it out hardly. It is so positive. Now listen. Isn't that just beautiful? That is workmanship of the highest standard. And I know ZT have been getting an awful lot of um, stick recently for their, their bigger knives. And rightly so. They haven't come up with anything really nice for a long while, in my opinion. But this. Look at that little blade. Look at that. I just want you to see how... Can you see? Look at that. If you have a scalper, if you want to get that wee blade into anywhere to pick something out... How cool is that knife? So, let me just give you a wait. Let's bring in the... the scales look huge for this. <laughs> okay. Right, what are we in? We're in ounces. It is 1.75 ounces. So it's about the same weight as a bug out. Just a wee bit less than a bug out. Let's go to... Grams. 49 grams. Say 50 grams. You know, there's nothing in it at all. You don't feel it in your pocket whatsoever. I don't feel it in my pocket in this, in the wee sheath, and with a pen. Now, this is the fun, this is the the good bit. The blade length is about two inches. The cutting is just under two inches. About one and seven eighths, which is about five five centimetres. Yes, the cutting is about five centimetres. And the blade is about, say, two inches. Just, just to make it that. The handle is three inches long. Three inches long, which is 76, 77 uh, millimetres. How lovely is that? I mean, this is just... There we go. Three inches. You're not going to see that in your pocket. You know, it doesn't even stretch across my palm. The The... It, look, you can drop it in the bottom of your pocket. You want. I think it's too good a knife to drop in the pocket. I love this little sheath that Jason sent me. I've been carrying it and using it. And I also get to have a pen with me then, which is nice. But look at the blue highlight, the blue titanium accent round the pivot. It is just... And how how well have they done the ZT? It's just shown in the, in the finger relief. It's so understated now. They went and put that on their pocket clip. But hey, I would show off. If I made this, I would want to show off who made it. It is beautiful. Now, let's see if we can get you up and see what it says on the blade. There we go. It's USA, made in the USA, 20 CV, and that's the serial number. Just a normal captured pivot. It is beautiful over travel stop. It's just got everything that a main blade or, you know, a, a normal size knife would have. So, you know, that just gets me every time. Look at that jimping, how precise. It is absolutely perfect when you get your finger on it. Your finger is not moving. This is a very sturdy little knife in the hand. But that detailed blade, you know, if you want to cut round anything, this is just the perfect knife. And it is usable. It's not something I'm just going to throw. I'm going to use this. Uh, you know I love my small blades. Sadly, I'm down to caravan. I haven't got... I've only got this little small one down here with me. Um, I must bring some more down when I'm doing a follow-up review on it. Just to put it... I have quite a few small blades that I love and use as secondary knives. But for comparison, let's give you some comparison. I was going to say do the blade thickness because the blade thickness is quite substantial. Let me just... This isn't a, a skinny little blade that's going to... It's 0 0.11 of an inch. So, that is absolutely really thick enough. But look at the tolerance on either side of that. That is really nice. Beautiful blade. It's a lovely little swedge on the top. You can see the little swedge there. But it gives you enough... Of a flat here that if you wanted to sharpen it with a fixed sharpener you could do it but this is a sharpen by hand for me so it's just gorgeous right comparisons my only other zt because i've never really zt are a bit overbuilt for what i tend to use there's my other zt now this is a small knife 
This is the Zero 450. It's a small knife. What a companion for it. What a companion. To me, these are just beautiful companions. So when I'm carrying this in my pocket as a secondary knife, this can quite happily go alongside it and do anything else that I want in the EDC uh, realm. The gorgeous knife. Gorgeous knife to use as well. And that was a gift from Tony Medar. Um, a beautiful gift. So there's me kitted out by ZT by two really nice men, nice parts of the community who help people like myself to keep channels going with knives that I couldn't afford. So I thank them both. And I thank everybody out there who has helped me. I've had an amazing, um, I keep saying it every time, but you have to because you realise that this is not my collection. This is a collection built up of us, of the subscribers to this channel. Should it be somebody who just says, oh, thank you very much for doing the video. It's every bit as important as somebody that gives me a knife. So once again, thank you very much. I absolutely love this little knife. I'll give you an update to, to how the usage goes on it. But let me tell you, it will get used. This is not going to sit in the box. One, it's too expensive. One, it's a gift. And I believe that Jason would want me to use it. Um, and two, what a partnership. What a partnership. I just love it. So, Jason, thank you so much. This little beauty is off the work. Take care. All the very best. Cup of tea time. Bye-bye now.